Okay, I'll reload it. Big Da Pacino here. Show and tell, no 77. Checking the light. I'm using, uh, uh, I think this is a, is this a 77 Ford Escort RS? This is the ID Chase. I know it's definitely an Escort RS. I don't know if it's a Cosworth. Most of y'all don't even know what that is, but y'all just know it's a Chase car and it's a Ford for the, from the, uh, Hot Wheels ID series. But this is the one that you can find in in the uh, main line cases. I don't remember what cases. Um, I think it was, it happened during the early part of this whole COVID-19 thing. I just so happened, I'm sorry folks. But um, it just so happened that I was at a Walmart. Was it Walmart? Yeah, I was at a Walmart. And uh, was that Walmart? Yeah, I think it was Walmart. And um, I was able to open some cases. I think it was like two cases, two sealed cases. And I found this ID and I found a regular treasure hunt. I think it was the, was it the grass chopper? I think so. Yeah. So I found this in one case. I found the grass chopper, a treasure hunt, and the other one. So that's my test mule. The light seems to be good. Yeah. Want to thank the subscribers for tuning in. We got a couple of new subscribers. I want to thank y'all for taking time out of your schedule to watch the videos. I want to thank the random viewers just for viewing. Even if you don't subscribe, you know, this time, that's time you could have spent somewhere else. So, hopefully, you will subscribe. Like I always say, not the best diecast channel, not the worst. Motto is show a little love to the diecast. That's what we do. All different brands Hot Wheels, Matchbox, uh, Green Light, Johnny Lightning. That's a majorette in there. Got, even got a little bit of Tomoka. Start collect mini GT, um, Johnny Lightning, like I said before, uh, another round two racing champions that you never heard of, um, NASCAR Authentics, which is Lionel Racing, when I can find them, um, of course, M2. I mean, pretty much anything I can get my hands on this diecast and cool, I pretty much I'll, I'll deal with it, you know, have a couple other brands I'm trying to get with uh, Tarmac Works is one of them and it's a couple others that I heard of that I'm going to try to see if I can get but um, let's move on with what we got for today uh, yeah. Monday I was able to get in some calls I didn't do a do a uh, decided to wait. So all I had was two cars that I ordered from Amazon, and I didn't know what what else I was gonna do. But um, yeah, I got these two cars in from Amazon. Ironically, on the way day that I've, I've been back to work, and uh, you know, just not major, you know. I just work for general information. I just work at a museum in Washington, D.C. I live in Virginia, though, so Northern Virginia, Alexandria, not too far from the, well, next city over from Arlington Cemetery. But, um, yeah, I got this uh, Pontiac 1961 Pontiac Catalina. And it is from Johnny Lightning. It came out in 2017. And you know the distribution as far as these premium brands. These stores, I don't know how they put it round to. Even though I was able to find some cars from 2020. 
from racing champs right here this Bel Air and this Bel Air these are 2020s and that's rare and I think I've only done that a couple of times found stuff that's in a year the same year that you know you're currently in on the pegs or either online usually the distribution is some crap I mean for everybody even green light you know because I mean I guess if they are for our circulation as long as something is in demand is in demand and they have supply for it that's what they're gonna that's what they're gonna give you you're not gonna find the newer stuff unless you're hobby shopping really really on point but um this is pretty cool because a lot of a lot of uh die cast companies have been trying to do the other Pontiacs other than the GTO and the Firebird sometimes you think that's the only cost that Pontiac made but this is the Catalina which is basically similar to a GTO this is a bigger GTO actually the call the GTO was based on it's called the Tempest it was more bigger than a uh, GPO so at the time when this came out in 2017 it was one of 1800 units they have another color for this that is I think is it is it burgundy and but it's, it's ugly it is it's not as attractive as this one so I'm glad to have this one it's a good addition to the collection and during 2017, you could have got, uh, they got three silver screen machines. There's the Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, 1969 Dodge Charger RT. Oh, man, I got to find that. I don't know if y'all seen that movie. It And I'm a muscle, I'm a car fanatic. I've been since a little kid. And I've seen that movie a couple of times. Other than that, other than the yellow charger, they got a pretty cool. Uh, I think it's an Impala, in that joint that they that they originally had in the movie. So that's pretty cool. It's one of them seventies. Um, I don't know action movies where it was about cars and stuff about racing and some crazy stuff man they either robbing banks or getting away from bad guys or something and they got the Jack Reacher 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS I already have one of those on green light and I already have the Vanishing Point 1970 Dodge Challenger RT but I got one from green light and they got oh that's talking about the collectors club A 1969 Royal Bobcat Blue, I guess, GTO Club car. That's what came if you got joined the Collectors Club back then. That in that special case. Very interesting. Moving on, got my favorite car, which I have examples of this in. Across the board, Raleigh and Hot Wheels and that Matchbox, and I have some in green light, but they're convertibles. So I decided to get the uh, the hard top version of the '69 Camaro, Chevy Camaro, and it's not saying if it's a Z28 or SS or what. Look like it's been customized. I don't really like the wheels on this. Thought they could be deep dish. They don't have no white letters on the tires. But I love the color of this, so. And this is from 2018, actually. And it's green light. They say it's a hobby exclusive. Sometimes I think they be gassing you up by saying that. Like, just designate what they're going to put this in. So, this is pretty cool. I'm supposed to get a chance to go to Hobby Lobby. But I didn't because the weather was, was horrible. I don't know about where you're at. 
There's been a lot of storms lately. A lot of people been going through some uh, problems with electricity, trees falling down, and all types of. So I hope you're safe where you're at. So far, so good, you know. Just been going through a lot of rain, storms, thunderstorms. Next, uh, while I was shopping on a Tuesday, because I had to get one of the most miscellaneous items, probably something I've been needing for a long time, but I'm putting it off. Had to go get a new shower curtain. I was looking for some other stuff, you know. How you do shopping, shopping center in the same area I'm talking about Arlington if you a famous pretty famous mall called Pentagon City but it, it the, the complex is so big it's right near near a subway station but on the other side of that it's a shopping center and you know it has a Marshalls I don't know if you Marshalls is a discount store well they got the shower curtain and then they got uh a Best Buy I think everywhere has Best Buy a Nordstrom Rack and I think they have pretty much some kiosk stores which pretty much you don't see they used to sell movies and fix watches and stuff but oh well man they kind of I guess because of COVID-19 and stuff they're kind of not there anymore but um I was able to go to another store that's there which is a sporting goods store which I thought was pretty much local, but I kind of found out from watching a show. I don't know if you watch Jesus and Mero. They were talking about the other day about Models, and I thought, oh, they got Models, and because they're from New York, so okay, so it's in more places than the, the Washington D.C., Virginia, and Maryland area. But this particular store is going out of business, and I didn't know they sold diecast, so. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention because I bought shoes from there before. So I looked in there because they attracted me to going out of, out of uh, business sale. And I was looking for some soccer socks because I like to wear soccer socks with my shorts. And, uh, and they had these silk and chrome. Well, that, is that what they call? No, satin and chrome. That's what they're called. And like... Somebody tried to get into this one. And I probably had a chance to buy these, but I think I was at the grocery store at the time and I only bought the wagon because I was buying groceries and I had to conserve my money. And I definitely wasn't leaving that wagon out there. Even though I've seen this wagon numerous times, it's become a peg warmer in my area which is strange but um yeah I, I got this and this set is from 2018 and I think they come up near the end of the year this was the original price they were selling them for $1.99 but they let them go for 90 cents because they're going out of business so this is the custom 71 uh, El Camino. This is the uh, 63 Chevy. And I think it's Chevy 2. It's supposed to be Nova. That's what they call it, the Chevy 2 at first. And so I think I got all six of them. I, well, I got five of them now. I passed on the. Uh, the rest of rat. I probably should have got it, but I don't really like fantasy castings. It's got to be something. Probably the bone shaker and the twin mill, and occasionally other stuff uh, I might deal with. I got the Pontiac Firebird too, so I got all of them, and the Superbird. Is that what it is? Yeah, Pont Plymouth Superbird. So I got all of them. Like I said, I don't really like fantasy castings unless it's something like this is an ID model. And like I said, I have a a, a grass chopper. This is the first ID I found, to be honest. I 
forgot where I found that. Did I find that? At, I think I found that in the grocery store and it don't be it. Um, but as far as fantasy castings, man, like it's got to be something pretty much. I think I like this Hallinator too. I used them to put the cars on, even though I need to stop doing this because it's not to scale and I need to get away from that and get real flatbeds, which I have a couple now. I think just a couple, mainly the Hot Wheels ones, but um, I think I have one M2 now, but I'm gonna try to get a couple of green light ones and try to incorporate them more. But that's pretty much it, man. Yeah. Went back and got that set from 2019. It was only 99, 90 cents a call. You can't beat that. I don't care. You better look through that bin or look under that display, see if it's something you want. Because, man, I remember when Hot Wheels was truly, and Matchbox was truly like a dollar call. Now they're going up. Some places they're a dollar fifty. Some places they're two dollars. You know, I, I think one place I went to it was like two fifty. I'm like, good gracious. But um, that's pretty much it. We just showing a little love to the diecast man. Stop procrastinating. It's not gonna be a long episode. Like I said, I'm back to work now, so I don't know how I'm gonna try to keep giving y'all content at least something each week but it was a times when I was trying to do it like two times a week I'm gonna try to get back on that schedule but now you know I had to readjust to coming back to work so yeah I took a little long with this one I took five days I was supposed to do a showcase uh, I probably end up doing that probably this week probably at least by the weekend. So I might hit y'all with two episodes probably next week. At least before the week is done. But other than that, man, you know, you know the motto. Show a little love to the diecast. Please hit the like button. Hit the notification button if you haven't subscribed yet. Please subscribe. You know, small channel, we're growing. Like I always say, I'm a blue collar collector. I don't have any big time connections. All this stuff comes from my pocket. And I really appreciate your support. But, you know, I know that uh, this is a hobby and people have other interests, so I pretty much get what I can get, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate the support I get, you know. It'd be nice to get to that thousands. Well, we have thousands of subscribers, but uh, but not being monetized, I think is good too. Even though I do not use any harsh language, I try to make my uh my show this uh digestible for everybody so if kids want to come up here and watch it's not specifically for them but if they do want to watch you know it's no problem i just i'm about the hobby man the love of the hobby uh just just trying to spread their love around the community and with that said I'm going to show a little love to the diecast. This is show and tell number 77. I'll see you on the next video. Peace and blessings.